The success story continues unabated. The demand for industrial robots is greater than ever and will probably remain that way for the foreseeable future. The International Federation of Robotics CEO Roundtable during Automatica 2016 in Munich. We set a new record in 2015, almost 250,000 robots worldwide. Um, you can see the continued global automation boom through this chart, and these sales figures from 2009 had quadruples from 60,000 robots. Certainly a very impressive growth. A convergence of digital information and automation will continue to drive this march forward and beyond 2018. It's really a transformation. It's, it's driven by cutting edge information and technology, especially the Industry 4.0 or the Industrial Internet of Things and services uh, has transformed our industry. Leading business representatives of robot manufacturers and suppliers from around the world discuss trends and perspectives of a booming industry. It is clear that a revolution is taking place here. Companies as well as jobs are changing radically. I see the robot as, as an enabler of the Industry 4.0. It's really a tool that will, will help Industry 4.0 to take shape and accelerate actually its implementation in our manufacturing. As robots uh, all today are connectable or are enabled for connection, we will be able to gather data, we will be able to analyze data, and together with the application competence as we have, uh, we will be able to basically uh, design and, and, and deliver and make smarter, uh, better factories. The future uh, factory will be robotized. It will be robotized where people work together hand in hand with robots. Well, the focus is the people does the creativity part of it. People does the complex part of it, and robots is doing the 3Ds. Take away the dirty, the dull, and the dangerous thing. Even though the future of the digitized factory is already underway, for the robot industry, there is still a lot to do. Keyword, interfaces and open architectures in programming. But the robots are prepared today for it. The thing here is about how is the surrounding equipment prepared for it. Because it needs to be an ecosystem. It needs to be an open ecosystem. And the robot, I would say, is the central part of it <coughs> that collects the, uh, the information from the surrounding equipment. The robot on its own is still not the key thing. The, the key thing is the, co the combination of the process equipment, the grippers, the safety equipment, etc. Together with the robot's movements, that is the key thing. So, so then, some, some task management, task pro programming, and the task menu must be increased for future. If so, <coughs> some programming idea must be more uh, flexible and a wider supplier can make it. That means, so program software, API, or interface command, these are must be common. So all people can make the some task. In the end, it will be the, the, the interfaces work, but the, the journey there might be very messy. And right now, we have all these different field bosses and so on, and it seems all the big players are promoting their own standards. And probably the APIs, or who control the APIs, will be one of the deciding uh, business strategies in, in the future. And uh, so, so there is a big fight there, and I, I hope also, because we really want to sell a lot of robots that is our business that we will settle soon in some mm -hmm. of these APIs, but uh, I, I'm not sure it will be a, a nice, uh, pretty journey there. Asia continues to be the focus of attention for the industry. China in particular surpassed the entire market volume of Europe with sales of 68,000 industrial robots. Increasingly, the Chinese are supplying their own companies with a rising trend. I think maybe uh, in the end of 2020, the market share of uh, China domestic uh, robot company may be occupy 50%. If that idea is expanding more, maybe a very, very single and a simple robot could be uh, increasing. So provided by Chinese people and the Chinese companies. But even if the landscape is changing, all company representatives view the future optimistically. 
I, I believe in the future there will be these line-out factories that are without people. But I think the tendency will be that more and more manufacturing will be moved more and more locally and mixed with people in to very large degree, basically to regain some of the value that has been lost over the last uh, four industrial revolutions. And therefore, manufacturing needs to be local and it needs to be mixed between uh, pro process experts, material people, designers, and maybe even the customers themselves, part of the manufacturing process. There's been four or five large players for many, many years. And uh, there has been few companies that have been able to, to, to somehow get a certain foot in the door. Uh, but with so many companies, so many startups, multi-hundred companies in China, I am convinced that uh, the landscape will, will, will look differently. And there is certainly agreement on one thing. Now is the best time to be working in this industry.